So in this talk, I'm going to define the gradient vector as a function. So I'll explain what that means. Suppose you have a function f. It's a scalar function. This means it's a function which takes real number values. But the input's input is a vector variable. That means it, one way of thinking of it is it's a function of many variables. So if this vector is in five dimensions, it's a function of five variables. Right? So we can try taking the gradient vector. And in a previous video, which you should see before this one, I defined the gradient vector of f at a point. So I define what it means to take the gradient vector. So we just call this the gradient vector of f. I define what what it is at a point, and what kind of an what kind of a thing was it? Was a vector, right? Living in the same dimension as the, the input, right? Yeah. So, so gradient vector of f at a point. At a point, let's say c was defined earlier. What's that symbol called? The one here? Nabla. Nabla. But this, this is usually read as grad f. Okay. Now, what do I mean when I think of grad f as a function? What kind of a function is this? It's a function which which does what? Uh, it sends... It sends vectors to what? To vectors? To vectors. It sends vectors <laughs> of whatever dimension this has mm -hmm. to vectors of the same dimension, mm -hmm. right? So, and what does it do? It sends a vector c to nabla f of c, right? So, this, what kind of function is this? It's a vector valued function. And what kind of vectors are there in the output? The same dimension as the vectors in the input. Okay, so so what, what's interesting here is you have a function. The original function was a scalar function. But the new function, the derivative, what, what we think of as the derivative of this function, the gradient vector is basically the right notion of derivative. If I just say what's the derivative. The derivative is not again a scalar function it's in fact a vector value function okay uh, and and i should say this that the domain of the this new function is contained in the domain of f in fact it will be contained in those points in the domain of f for which the functions defined around the point because in order to take the gradient vector you need the function to be defined are in a ball around the point. Okay, so, so this may not be equal. It just could be this thing could be much smaller than this. But the key point is the derivative of a scalar function, though it is called the gradient vector, is no longer a scalar function. It's a vector valued function. Which means that if I ask you what's the second derivative, what would you think? You'd have to think, right? We, um... Because the first derivative is no longer a scalar function. And I'll just define what's the derivative of a scalar function. So, in order to be able to take the second derivative of little f, I need to have a notion of the derivative of a vector valued function. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and once I have that notion, then I can take third derivatives, fourth derivatives, whatever. But, but this really puts a little break on our enthusiasm for sort of capturing and copying things from single variable calculus. Okay. 